How's it going, chicks mates? This is Mr. Charles, and we're here with Champions Return to Arms. Right, this is a PlayStation 2 game. Uh, I'll be keeping that trend because I was playing on this forever, and now I want to play this. Um, it is a special game to me for a few reasons, actually. Like, I bought it ages ago. I must have been, like, 11, and I was in, like, near London area, like, first time I ever travelled in a place called Harlow. And basically, my dad, after a trip from Italy, bought me this game, and oh, I've had so many good experiences with it. I think this definitely is one of my top 10 PS2 games, and yet, I'm the only person I've ever known to own this game. It's a sequel to, I think, Champions of Norath or something? So I've never played that one, um, and you know I like my sequels, but I just wanted to show you guys, because this game is absolutely amazing, and what many RPGs in a way should be today, in the way like it has amazing mechanics, it's really, it's an alright story, but oh, it's just brilliant and I haven't played it one player for a long time and I just really wanted to show you guys. I've actually played it a lot with an old friend of mine, uh, who I don't see anymore because, well I moved away. Um, you can't do internet games, I'm just going to do a normal game, uh, I don't know how you can do four players unless you get... I mean, apparently they, they, there was this thing in the controllers bit when you could split one slot into three. I'm driveling. I'm going to stop doing that now. Okay. Uh, play missions. Um, well, as much as I'd love to be legendary, I'll probably just show you guys the adventurous side of things. Because that's the story side. Okay. So we've got a nice lizard. Uh, I could be a tiger. A man. A woman. An elf man. Elf. Oh, my God. Uh, the elf woman looks like a prostitute, but whatever. Uh, a blonde elf. A blonde prostitute. Ooh, a wizard. And uh, a wizard pro I swear, look at the cleavage of the girls on this game. Look at this, so, mad, yeah, masculine stuff. Cl oh, I suppose it's not that bad here. Can I rotate them? Okay, I can't seem to rotate them. No, I don't want to go back. I want to see what else there is. Oh, that's everything. No idea what I'm meant to be. Um, so, I mean, wizard sounds cool. A strong melee class. Is there no difference between... Alright, so you can choose the gender, but there's genuinely about five class. Wait, but how is a lizard opposite to a tiger? Cool, okay. Uh, right, you're limited to blunt. I'm not going to enjoy that. You're limited to... Uh, you don't see that limited. So you can combine close and fighting with heavy ranged. What would I enjoy? Virtually no magic? Oh, that doesn't sound fun. It doesn't matter about defeating enemies. Can wield any weapon, though? You do look quite nice, too. I feel like I'd enjoy magic, though. Should I be a... Uh... Limited to weapon usage, may not use... Mm. What's your strength and weakness? Weaker against disease immune enemies. Spells cost more percentage of mana. But can summon the undead? Use corrosive shot on... Um, mm. I mean, I wouldn't mind looking demonic, but... Oh, uh, why not? You know what? Pay for this devastation. Yes, okay. We got here. I'm gonna be, yeah, butterfly face. Um, can I have some hair that doesn't look like it's crazy? Very limited for choices, you know that. Hope I can get a helmet on your face or something. Okay, points. Um, I'm a wizard. Intelligence. Cool. A name. Oh god. Uh, should be careful what I call that. Let's call you. I mean, we might have some great adventures together. I might, like, come back to this and think, Wow, look at this video when, when this person was made. It was the beginning of something amazing. I'll call you... Zera. After Zero the Man, because I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Why not? Like, there's not enough girls or men named Zera. Oh, okay. Show me your cleavage before everything fades to dark. So where, where does our store... Oh, okay. This looks a nice place. I don't know how... Are we in the sky? Is this heaven? Seems very small for heaven. Ooh, okay. 
Uh, whoa, okay, I can zoom. I have a, what the hell am I using? Some kind of dark magician rod. There's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff happening right now. Oh, uh, Sugar Frost. I, I have a spell. I'm not really good at spell cards. I only have one spell. I suppose I am level one, though. Um, nice heaven music. Oh, oh, and now we're introducing some Beyblade. Yes, boys, look at me spin. Look at that one piece of hair staying. God, how can I spin that fast? My feet, my feet just go crazy. It's like I'm a tap dancer or something. All right, I'm going to try and ignore that. Uh, whoa. Okay, a map. Cool. I'll keep that when I need it. Hey, Firiona. Did someone really have to call you Firiona? Why not Fiona? That's much simpler. Oh, we get a zoom in. Welcome, brave soul. Thank you. Your presence inspires hope in the hearts of gods and men alike. That's nice. For once again, the planes of power have come under siege. Uh. You must perfect your skills with sword and lance. I can't equip swords, I'm a wizard. The trumpet sounded as our courageous knight stormed the plain of war. The bodies of our enemy lay scattered across the forgotten battleground. The palace of Ralosek drew near, but then, just when victory would be ours, we were met by an unspeakable new power. Many have perished. Our armies are in disarray. Um, what's this... Unspeakable power. Who's Ralsek? He doesn't sound very nice, so I'm gonna imagine he's a bad guy. Will you lend us your heart, your hand, and your sword? Do I have a choice? The deaths of thousands will be avenged by your victory. If there are potions you seek, or arrows to fill your quiver, can't use a bow. I don't think either. Them, or a modest fee, of course. When you have all that you need, you may pass through the portal behind me and into the plane of war. Alright, first off, that lip sync at the end was terrible. But, like, isn't it pretty? It, ooh, okay. A weapon shop. I've got no money, though, I don't think. 500, that's not much, is it? Uh, no. I mean, this crap bow, I'm guessing this crap is at the top, is, like, 4k. I can't even use any of this crap, can I? I think, basically, when it's green, I can use it, but when it's red, I can't. Mind you, there is um, clothes here. And basically, I don't know if I can get it up now. Oh, I can't get it up here. Hold on. Yeah, basically, you got clothes and stuff. And you can equip them as you go. So, like, obviously the weapon comes and goes. But, like, I could choose to be completely naked the whole game. I mean, I don't want to. Th this isn't pornographic, YouTube. Um, but isn't that cool? You can, like, customize your character like that. Like, choose what clothes they have. I just find that so cool for a PS2 game. So I need to travel through the plane of war and confront Ralos Zek. Right, okay. Um, so plan our gateway. Oh my god, look at this. The plane of war! Warfare rages endlessly in the bleak realm of Ralos Zek, the warlord. Yeah, it still doesn't sound very good, does he? Warriors found lacking on the battlefield are exiled as war wraiths to the forgotten battleground. Those who serve their god well are accepted into Drandar, the fortress of Zek. I mean, so far he just sounds like a really good warrior to me, but, you know. Okay, battlefield. Fire. Evil music. Oh. Gateways. Um, okay. Oh. Wolf. Are they wolves? There's only a few at least. Uh. Oh. I wonder who's gonna have to dispose of this pest problem. Alright. The game begins. Keep the map at the corner. Um. Oh god, there's one here. Okay. I found out the spinny thing was actually to block. What? Do I just time it right? Um. Now. Nope. Now, I attack really slow. Alright, spell. Um, circle. That did the trick. Alright, cool. Don't know where I'm going, but th this is fine. Oh god, there's another one. No. Uh, ah, I'm burning. Oh god. Oh, but so's he. Okay. Bam. Missed. 
Bam! Missed. Oh! He exploded into ice chunks. That's that's very good. Okay, note to self, I am very fragile. In that fire, I just literally lost a third of my health. And it was doing ones to the other guy. Oh, okay. Gate scrolls are useful. They teleport. Nice. Okay, this is cool. So I got a girl, Zira. We're lost in a wasteland. Nope. 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 Oh, I thought that was still alive. Okay. I should probably be careful of my mana here. Because as you know, I'm a noob. Ah, there's another one. Ah, I let him get too close. Nope. 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 I'm doing well considering I only have one spell. Well, this is adventurous. That guy just ended up in the fire. And this guy. God, they're really fast too. Bam. Man, this difficulty is so hard. Ooh, a chest. Oh no, I'm throwing it. No. Oh, okay, I'm fine so far. That's cool. Alright, so walking in the wasteland. Zira's like, oh no. There's two of them. Uh. Alright, well as long as I have mana, I seem to be okay. Oh, is that... Oh, that one's bigger. Okay. No. No. Ooh. Yes! Clothes! I can wear new clothes! You don't need to go to Primark in this game, you just need, like, to kill shit. So look at, look, look at this, I change! Look at that! Doesn't even match any of my other uniform, unfortunately. Still cool, though. Alright, um, I think the green bar... I mean, you can guess the red is health and blue is mana. But the green bar's experience. So maybe I'll be able to get some new stuff soon. I think there's something back here. Ignite. Oh, crap! Okay. Right, that was a bit... Oh, okay. Um, you didn't see me just make my noob of myself, did you? Welcome to the Plane of War, Champion of Firiona B. Uh, thank you. What riches does the servant of Tunare offer for such blind allegiance? Who? What power of your own may you reap? <laughs> None. Oh. You're nothing more than a pawn. A marionette on a string. I have rights. Perhaps there is a more, shall we say, profitable choice. Heed my words, brave warrior. Renounce your vow to that pompous wench and join the forces of darkness. Together we shall resurrect the Prince of Hate and rule the world. Um. Well, I mean, I don't like being enslaved, but I don't think absolute darkness is a really good idea, Natasla. Hold on, you're not wearing a bra. You're using your hair as a bra. Can we just note that? She's literally wearing no bra. I mean, I could agree with, you know, not being a pawn, but I can't agree with you being naked. I'll never join your evil regime. The forces of light grow weaker by the hour. Soon we will overwhelm them. Your only chance for victory is to fight alongside us. <laughs> you make a good point. Yeah, I might die. Um, yeah, but... I mean, I guess I won't have to be naked like you. Not sure. I think this is a choice. Oh, the two doors. So, good or evil? I mean, Firiona seems reasonable enough. I mean, I'd rather go to heaven than hell. You know what? I'd rather die. Too bad you will not live long enough to regret your foolish choice. The forgotten battleground is calling you. It's fine. At least I'll be able to wear clothes. Ah, okay. Heaven Gate. It. Yay, it opens for me. How about that? That's cool. Specifically for me. So now wolves can go there too and stuff. Alright, I'm going to end the episode here. Champions return to arms. Um... There's a lot that goes on. It does get harder. At the moment, it's just wolf stuff. But you know what? We'll meet other things. We'll see bosses. We'll see me die a few times and get angry. It's going to be a really good adventure. But the adventure will continue in another episode. Look out for my books. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time. See ya.